guys, welcome back to my mom's video. Today she made this Pokemon cake and I'm a fan of Pokemon. And if you want to see how she made this cake, subscribe and comment below. And welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. I have not posted a video in a while, and I want to thank all of you for being so patient. Thank you to all my subscribers who did not unsubscribe. And for those of you who continue to subscribe and are new to my channel, please stay posted for a lot more fun videos coming up. I promise this time I'm going to be on it, and I'm looking forward to bringing you amazing things this year. So I've already started off making my Pikachu, by the way one of my all time favorite Pokemon characters ever existing. The video came out earlier this year and I did miss the chance to make it but I'm glad that I'm making it for you guys now. Okay guys, so I've started off by molding the body of my character. If you realize I did push back the left side of my foot and I made it a little bit smaller than the one that's going to be on the front stepping on the Pokeball just so that it creates a little bit more three-dimensional depth in case you were wondering. Now my Pikachu is seven to seven and a half inches in total, and that does not include the length of his ears. Remember when you're working on a topper, you wanna at least have an image that you wanna feed off of. Even if you're not doing the exact image, it's always great to have an idea of what you're really working on so it looks as close to your character as possible. So if you have ever seen any of my videos before or never have you seen any, then remember to pop over to my YouTube channel at Fancy Cake Girl. However, I like to use very minimal tools or simple tools to create my toppers. Reason being is that I'm from the Caribbean and where I'm from there's not a lot of cake supplies so I've always had to find a way to improvise and create my own way to get the same best and professional results for my customers. One of the things about creating toppers is to always make sure that you always go back over places, smoothing out edges, even if you make an indentation. Just taking a few more minutes and using your fingertips to smooth out that area will really bring out a very nice finish to your work. And now I'm going in with my balling tool, one of the few tools that I actually have, guys, to create the indentations in the eyes. Yes, and I keep looking back at the photo I'm referring to just to make sure that I'm putting everything in the right place. Remember to take your time. This topper took me at least about four hours to create. Moving on to Pikachu's tail. I have had previously a piece of fondant with some Carlos powder drying on the side. If you're in a bit of a rush and you do have pastelage or gum paste, you can use that and dye it the same shade, yellow, as your Pikachu. With my Pikachu, by the way, I actually used a lemon yellow by Chef Master and um, a tad bit of the golden yellow from Wilton. The same for the ears of your Pikachu. It would be really nice if you would cremate these or add a little bit of Tylos powder or use gum paste or pastelage just to create really nice firm finishes. If you have a lot of time, say for instance you're making them a few days in advance, then you can actually make these from fondant and they will dry up in time. But if you're in a bit of a rush and you're doing it for the same day, then you can use the gum paste or the pastelage. If you pop over to my Instagram page, you will see that I have a few hand-painted cakes on my page. Now a lot of persons have been asking me, how do you paint on your cakes? It's simple, I simply use the white Chef Master color and any gel food color to paint on. So that's what I use here to do my Pikachu eyeballs. One of the key things to making your character stand out, especially bringing life to it, is the sparkle in the eye. No matter how jagged up you think your character looks, add some sparkle to the eyes and you're gonna see a difference. For painting on my cakes, I use water or food grade alcohol. Food grade alcohol if I'm in a bit of a rush and sometimes water if I have enough drying time. 
Now, a lot of persons may say, oh, you're using alcohol on a kid's cake. No, the alcohol evaporates and there's no trace or trace of it. So our babies are fine. And now we're finished. You can leave your Pikachu as is, or you can be like me and go a little extra. I'm adding some highlights on some shading with some dust um, colors, mustard yellow, some dark browns, cocoa browns, some white for highlights, just to create a bit more spunk on my Pikachu because he's hardcore. Okay guys, so this is the final product of our Pikachu cake. Comment down below if you want me to actually show you how I work on the cakes or if there's enough of that on YouTube. Let me know what you want to see from me. Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching our video. Remember to subscribe. Please press the notification button and follow us on Instagram and InstaTV. If you haven't already, comment down below and let us know what you want to see in the next YouTube video.